yo, 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 yo. So I wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk about my experience as I learn a new language. So it all started when I went to Mexico City in Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I went with my old friend Erica, um, acting buddies, um, and I only stayed there for three nights. And so being there within just three nights, I learned a lot. I was able to speak to people in Spanish. I was able to use my translator more. And there was an incident that happened when I didn't have a charger. And so I thought, hey, maybe I can go to like a nearest convenience store and buy one. So I called an Uber guy. He took me all the way there, but the place didn't exist. So then my phone died. So with his broken English and my terrible Spanish, I had to learn how to speak Spanish in a two hour time span. Because at that moment, I was in a case of desperation. And I felt the need to survive. So I had to learn, learn it by using my hands a lot. Um, I had to learn it by, you know, pointing to different objects and having him give me that what it's called so I can translate it and, you know, combine it into a sentence. Like I had to do that. And so I came back from Mexico City. And ever since then, I've just been really struck to the core. I was able to just immerse myself in the culture. I started to make Mexican friends. I started to listen to the radio in Spanish every single day. Um, and, you know, I started doing this for like one month. Prior to that month, I was just doing, just really just fixated on the memories that I had. So, like, I'm only, you know, just looking in my memories that I had, like, back in the day, just being really, like, I don't want to say obsessed with it, but just intrigued by it for since May all the way up until I decided to learn how to speak it. So, yeah, after listening to it every single day and watching a couple of videos with subtitles and just listening, you know, just listening every day, I, you know, for one month I was able to retain a lot more I was able to listen to people more. Even in my own native language, I'm able to listen more. I'm able to be a little bit more patient. I'm able to read a whole article without skimming through. Like I'm able to really take time and just break down things. And I think it's really cool. Like it's this YouTube video that said, learn how to speak Spanish and your sleep. Sorry, like I'm speaking a little slow because I'm like a little high. So like it's kind of taking my time with speaking. So um, at first I didn't think it was going to work. Um, listening to Spanish in my sleep because the first thing I do is get disturbed. See, I'm not used to listening to things in my sleep. So the first thing I'm going to do is wake up maybe an hour or two later and just shut it off. So I felt like after, you know, taking on that exercise, I didn't think it was working because I felt like I didn't get what I needed fully out of it because I would just wake up and just cut it off. So I didn't think it was effective. But then I realized that, like, I had tried that about two times and I realized that I'm able to pick up every detail that the person is saying. I'm able to slow down their um, pronunciations. Um, and I'm able to take what I just heard and translate it. So if it's gotten to that point, then yes, I would say that listening to Spanish in your sleep is definitely helpful because you may not 
let's say you may not learn all the words and phrases that you hear, but at least you're able to retain it enough to translate it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read um, a couple of things about myself and you tell me if I got better. Hola, mi nombre es Lauren Ashley. Mi nombre es artístico es Charlie Catherine. Soy una actriz, directora y productora. Soy de Gary, Indiana. He estado aprendiendo español por un mes. How was that? <laughs>